How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Toy Dueler here, and today I'm coming at you guys with an updated method on how to get any Pokemon in Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X, and Y. This method will work on all Nintendo 3DS's old and new version 11.00. If Nintendo updates the system firmware, this method might not work, so check and make sure you're on the right version before you get started. Now, there are going to be a few things that you need. First off, you need some sort of SD card reader. Some computers already have them installed, but if you're like me and you don't have one already on your computer, you can easily go on Amazon or other websites or even go to stores and buy a cheap SD card reader for less than $10. Then you're also going to need a few files, which I'm going to link in the description below. First, you need the Homebrew Starter Kit, which actually allows you to run the exploit to get all these Pokémon. Then you'll need the Homebrew Save Manager. And last but not least, you'll need PK Hex. Once you have these three files downloaded and an SD card reader, you're ready to get started. Now, once you have those three files downloaded, you need to extract them. You could use either WinRAR or 7-Zip, it doesn't really matter. Personally, I just use WinRAR though. So go ahead and extract those files. And now once the files are extracted, you're going to go into the starter folder. And you're going to see two files named 3ds and boot.3dsx. Now, once you have those two files open, you're going to want to go into your SD card from your Nintendo 3DS and put that in your computer. And now you're going to want to drag those two files directly onto your 3DS SD card. Now open up the Save Manager folder, and go inside the 3DS folder on there, and drag and drop Save Manager into the 3DS folder on your SD card. Perfect! Now you're done with the SD card, and you could safely eject that from your computer. Alright, so at this point you're going to want to put your SD card back into the 3DS with the new files installed, and you're going to go ahead and press L and R on your Nintendo 3DS. This will bring up the camera, which we need to scan a QR code. So, at the bottom screen on the left hand side, you're going to press the little checkerboard pattern which will allow us to scan a QR code. We need to scan this QR code to activate the homebrew. So it'll search for a QR code, I'm going to link the code in the description, or you can use the one on the video if it works for you. And it's to say URL found. Press A OK and launch the internet browser and BAM, we're going to start our homebrew. It'll take a few seconds to load up and show a whole bunch of hackery text, and that's how you know you did it right. So, now that we're in Homebrew with everything installed, we're going to go down to the Save Manager. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and open up the Save Manager, and we're going to want to select the Pokemon game that you're going to use. I'm using Pokemon Omega Ruby, so we're going to go ahead and press A, Select Targets. Alright, now we get to a little black screen and it's going to say backup save data, import save data, and exit. So first off, we're going to want to backup our save data. So just press A. Alright, perfect. We backed up our save data. So we're going to want to exit our DS right now and take out the SD card and put it back into the computer. Now is when we're going to start using PK Hex. So now we're going to go back onto the computer. Make sure you plug in your 3DS SD card back into the SD card reader. And now it's time to open up PK Hex. PK Hex is a Pokemon editing program and you could edit as many boxes of Pokemon as you want at a time. So for me, it automatically opened up my Pokemon save file on my SD card. But if it doesn't do that for you, it's really simple to open up your save file. So all you have to do is go to File, Open, and find the location of your SD card, and go into the new folder that was created called Save Data Backup. That was created by the Save Manager program, and when you backed up your save file, it just saved it as the file named Main over here. So open it up, and you could basically create whatever Pokemon you want using this program. So for the sake of the example, I'm going to create a Shiny Mew at level 100. Now I'm not going to make it look legitimate because I don't really want to waste time doing that right now. If you guys do want to make legitimate Pokemon, I already made a video, which I am going to link right in the corner over here and also in the description below. So if you want to use these Pokemon online, which you probably do, I would definitely recommend watching that video. So here I'm just going to create a row of Mews just for a proof of concept to show that this actually works. I didn't have Mews there before. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up, let me see, why not two rows, you know, you can never have too many Mews. So I'm going to go ahead and set those Mews there, and then once I have the Pokemon ready, all I have to do is go to File, and then Export Sav, and I'm going to export it as my main one, but if you want to make a backup, you could do Export Back. So I'm going to press Export Main over here, 
and then it'll automatically bring up my SD card folder. I'll press save, it'll say main already exists, do you want to replace it? I'll press yes. And now we have it saved, we have the file saved with a whole bunch of Muse over here. So at this point, once it's saved, it's time to take out the SD card, put it back into the 3DS, and we're almost done. Alright, so once you're on your 3DS, just go back to the homebrew the same way we did it the first time, and go back down to Save Manager. Select your Pokemon game, and now once we're on the Save Manager main menu, this time we're going to press Import Save Data. So press B, and that'll allow us to put the Muse that we just generated actually onto our Pokemon game. So now let's go ahead and exit Homebrew, remember press Start and then press A, and that'll bring us back to the main 3DS screen, and now it's time to go into our Pokemon game. And now that we're in game, it's time to check on those Mews, let's see if they're actually there. And voila, we have a box full of Mews. So, like I said guys, this is a really easy method, you could get any Pokemon you want with this. You could do some crazy stuff, like get them crazy movesets, or you can make them completely legit and use them online. So, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.